Hi, it's Stacey Myers here from StaceyMyers.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 11 easy Twitter promotion ideas that bloggers sometimes ignore. Twitter is actually a really great place to promote your blog posts because you can post your link out more than once a day and people are still going to click on it because the little shelf life is a tweet of a tweet is so short you can post out your blog post more often. And from my experience and that of my clients, Twitter is a great place to get exposure for your blog posts. So I'm going to go through 11 really great ways that you can help get more visibility for your blog posts on Twitter. The first thing is to make sure you're using appealing images because as you know, images catch people's eye and as people are scrolling through their stream, you want them to stop at your post so that then they're going to click on it and go and read it. So when you put your link up on into your tweet, you can also upload an image that is a great fit for your blog post that will make sure and catch people's eye. Also, don't think that you can only post one image with your blog post. So every time you post your blog post, you can use a different image because different images catch different people's attention. Okay, so number two, create tweetables. What are tweetables? So tweetables are like little words of wisdom from your blog post. Every time you write a blog post, there'll be little snippets in there that are like are really like little gold nuggets. And what you want to do is pull those out and turn them into tweets. So you can have them with a, a link, you can leave them just like you would like a little quote. Um, you can add some hashtags to them. There are all different ways and they're just little bits of extra content that are going to tell people and let them know about your expertise. So to find the tweetables, you literally just go through your blog post and pick out like the little words of wisdom that you think would be of benefit to people. Now just keep in mind they're a tiny bit of content or by themselves so they just have to make sense. It can't just be some kind of random sentence that you're using. So number three is about using a click to tweet plugin. So we've already created our tweetables and then what we can do with our tweetables is turn them into clickable links. So you may have seen in people's websites where they have like a little uh, snippet of the blog and then you can click it out and when you click on it it takes you to an already populated tweet so basically you've written it in advance and then people can click on it and go there's a service the click to tweet service and then there are various other plugins that you can use for your website so i use social warfare for my social plugin but there are various other ones you can use. There's actually a click to tweet one. And so basically you take your little tweetable and you turn it into a tweet that people then can click on and it will go out into their Twitter feed and promote your blog post. The next thing we're going to look at is using a variety of headlines. It's the same as with the image. Sometimes we get stuck using the same image for our blog post every time. But if we can change them up, we can catch other people's eyes. It's the same as with the headline. So we want to have a variety of headlines. So you can have one blog post and you can send, send that out with a variety of headlines. It could be that you ask a question. In, it could be that you're just changing the words up. Now, if you get stuck creating other headlines, there are a lot of different tools that you can help you. There are various headline generators and you can just simply Google them and I will add some in the description below to help you with that. So you just put in a content idea as what you think a good headline would be and then it gives you other ideas that would be relevant to what it is that your post is about. So it's definitely a great thing to do is have some change up your headlines so that they attract different people. Don't just tweet once. This is a mistake I see a lot of people making. You can tweet your link out a lot of times. I would, on the first day of setting up your blog, post out at least twice about your blog post and then keep it going over and over and over again. Because if you're creating evergreen content, which means content that's like not like time specific so that it's relevant to people regardless of when they're reading it, then you want to keep promoting your blog post out because it's such a shame for you to have written this amazing blog post 
list. But then it just gets shared out once and then people forget about it and it gets kind of down on the list of the blogs you have on your website. So make sure you're tweeting it more than once. And we talked about add, and add some different images, add some different headlines, but definitely get your posts out more than once. Keep it going. If you don't want to have to go in every time and post it live, there are various other scheduling tools out there that you can use. There's Hootsuite, there's Buffer, there's eClincher, there's like a myriad of ones that you can choose from where you can post your link and then have it go up again. Twitter has um, just changed the rules that you can't have the same post going out, but this is fine for you because you've already got different headlines, you've got different images, so it's not the same tweet going out every time onto your stream. If you're looking to get more exposure for yourself on Twitter, in the description below, I've got a link to my free report and training about the three biggest mistakes you can make when getting started on Twitter and how to avoid them. Number six, using social share buttons. You want to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to share out your content. So if you have the social share buttons, people can just click on it and then it will automatically post out your blog post into a tweet. Now there are various systems that you can use. I use Social Warfare, the Shareaholic is a popular one, but any of the WordPress plugins that you can put on your website, so at the top or at the bottom and sometimes at the side of your website, there's an option for people to share it out. Now it's not just Twitter, people can share it on Pinterest and Facebook and, and various other places as well, but it's imperative that you have this on your website because you want to make it as easy as possible for people to share out your content. Right, number seven, pin a tweet. So at the top of your Twitter feed, you can pin a tweet. Basically, you take a tweet that you've already tweeted and then you'll see the three little dots. You simply click on there and then you have the option of pinning your tweet. You want that at the top. So when people go to your profile page, the first thing they see is your pinned tweet. Now take into consideration some of the things we've already talked about before. A great image, have something there that people are going to be interested in. You could change it every time you have a new blog post. You could put a really great quote graphic up there. Something that's going to grab people's attention when they come to, to your Twitter profile. Right, eight. Put a link in your bio. There are two different places you can put a link in your Twitter bio. There's the standard place where Twitter has the little box and you put in your website address there. And then there's also in your description, you can actually put a clickable link. But the key is you have to start the link with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your blog link. Because if you don't put the HTTP in front of it, it is not a clickable link. So that's the little key. You can have two links there. You can have one to your website and you can have one to your latest blog post. Every time you write one, you can add that there. So this is a great little tip to get two links into your Twitter bio. Nine, use hashtags. Hashtags are a great way for you to get in front of people you wouldn't normally get in front of because when you post, the people that see it are your followers and anybody that they share your post with. But with the hashtag, people that have searched for that hashtag can find you whether they're following you or not. So this is why it's really great to use hashtags. The key here though is to make sure that your hashtags are relevant to your blog post. So you don't want to be writing about social media and then have some hashtag for fitness or something because people will get annoyed with that and they will definitely not click on your link. So relevant hashtags are really great. Now don't put truckloads of hashtags into your post. You want to have maybe two or three relevant hashtags. Once they've searched for a relevant hashtag to them, they can click on it and you want to be there showing up with your tweets so that they can click on your tweets. Now if you're not sure which tweets to use, you can just simply go to other people's um, Twitter accounts in your industry and have a look at the tweets they're using or there are various hashtag websites like hashtag find me, there's hashtag school.org, there are various other ones out there. But the best thing I've found is just have a look at other people in your niche 
and the hashtags are clickable. So if you find a tweet that's kind of similar or relevant to what you do, you can click on it and then it gives you all of the other tweets that have been tweeted with that hashtag. And you can see if it's relevant, if, if it's a hashtag that you want to use in your business. So that's the way I find the easiest, but you can also go and have a look at the various websites as well and see if that gives you any extra ideas. 10. Tag relevant people. And notice I said relevant. There's nothing more frustrating than being tagged in posts that have absolutely nothing to do with you or even anything that you talk about just because people want to tag you to get extra exposure. It's annoying and spammy and please don't do it. Here's how to do it properly. If you've done a post and you have linked to somebody's other blog post, or you've done a list post with various other, linking to various other blogs, or you've just mentioned someone's resource or website in your post, then you can tag them. You can put in, read my latest blog post where you get amazing tips from Steve and tag him in there so then he knows that you posted about him and he can come and have a look and hopefully if he likes what you've written then he's going to share it out with his people as well to get extra exposure. So there are great ways that you can use tagging to get exposure for your blog post but like I said make sure you're tagging people that you've mentioned in your blog post or are relevant to the conversation that you're having. Right, and the final one, number 11, use video or live stream. Now, I know this can be a bit scary for people, but it's definitely well worth it. And this is a complete example of what I'm talking about. So I have a blog post called 11 Easy Twitter Promotion Ideas Bloggers Sometimes Ignore. And so what I've done is I've taken that blog post and turned it into a video for you. I've gone through my blog post and telling you the 11 different ways that you can promote your blog post on Twitter. And so it's a great way to do it. So you can pull little tweetables, the same as what we talked about, and put those up onto Twitter. So I could use each of these individual ones and have them as little tweet outs that go out on Twitter. Of course, I can use them on the other platforms as well. And, or what you could do if you have it, you could like just go through and read through a blog post that you have. Now, you don't want to make it boring, like sitting here going, oh, and here's my blog post and reading it verbatim. But you could also turn your little blog post into um, a little video. If you didn't want to have your face on there, you could just have it as like little images turned into a video. There are many, many different ways that you can do this and it's a great little extra way for people to get to know you because of course when people can see you they get to know you better and again it's extra exposure for your blog posts. I'd love to hear which of these strategies you already implement or going to give a try. Leave that in the comments below. And if this video has been of value to you, I'd love a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified when I upload further videos.